so this sort of scarcity versus hunger problem, I, I think is, is endemic where as the head of sales who wants to close this really big deal with this really big customer, I just want the answer to be yes. And the, and the delivery date to be next Friday. And mm -hmm. instead these product folks keep talking at length about all the other things we've committed to. I think what's interesting about that is often those two conversations are happening from different motivations, aren't they as well? So yes. I'm that salesperson, I'm, I'm quite emotionally invested in that sale because my, you know, my figures, my, you know, my end of quarter numbers are low, or I want to close the deal because my bonus sure. is put on that. So everybody's almost incentivized differently as well, which can create that. Very much. Too. Yeah. You know, so you're operating from a place of emotion almost in those sales situations. And, 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 and there's, the role that. yeah. And there's yeah. a time frame issue here too. So yeah. again, I'm an enterprise guy. So I'm used to being in the place where every two weeks, some really big customer asks for a thing, which may be impossible or make no sense. Right. But we as an enterprise software company have to close these four deals this quarter, or the board is going to rip somebody a new one, fire some people, and we're going to have to let everybody go. And the product horizon, the product timeline is usually much longer than a quarter. As a sales professional who needs to bring in this deal so I can save my job, get my commission and keep my team whole, I, I need the answer now and I need the delivery relatively soon. Mm. But, but the development processes and, and the product management point of view rarely give us that opportunity to give a quick yes with a quick, quick delivery because of course, everything is harder than you thought it was and it's going to take longer. And, and that dynamic where there's tremendous pressure to close this quarter because, of course, the board is phoning the CEO, oh, probably no more than twice a week each per board member, to ask how revenue is going versus plan for the quarter. The pressure is immense to just override the product engineering folks and tell them to do the thing. So what does a CEO do in that situation?